Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from FN13 Productions, and we're here at Warp Sports with another marker unboxing type thing. Uh, I'm not, like, super excited about the gun. I think it is definitely a cool concept. I'm glad it's finally on the market and stuff like that. I'm not a huge fan of die precision, but, uh, you know, their guns are really cool, and they, they do shoot pretty smooth. Uh, first off, you get this nice... Uh, Soft case. I think this is a case that they've been sticking with for a while. It does have their nice, like, almost, pretty sure it's like aluminum die logo. Uh, it does come in, like, this little cardboard sleeve, too, with the die logo cut out, of course, because you want to make sure who you got your gun from. Open it up. Uh, like, kind of kind of like like how I hid my Lux, I guess. Uh, this, this is honestly probably, like, the coolest part of this case. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. It's a full O-ring layout, full bolt assembly, all your modes and stuff like that for when you when you use your uh, your joystick on the back of your gun. Uh, they give you USB cord uh, because the um, the M2 does come with a rechargeable battery, so uh, it's it's nice to see another company doing that besides Lux. I think the rechargeable battery is definitely a way to go. It, you know, it definitely helps out players so that, that way they don't have the extra expensive batteries because we all know that paintball is expensive enough. Uh, this is your owner's manual, which I think is kind of weird. It's also your customer support passport. Uh, it's basically just a little USB stick that you flip out and it's like a credit card style thing. It looks kind of cool though. Uh, let's see. On the back here. You've got like a quick start manual, uh, you've got your warranty card, of course, wait like three months to fill that out just so, you know, you get the full benefit of it. You have your die barrel sack that says M2 on it, looks really nice. Uh, you have a, not large, but definitely, you know, a decent sized parts kit, looks pretty nice. You, you do get their die multi-tool, which is like... It's got everything but the kitchen sink, and I'm pretty sure you just get a hose. Uh, you get the dye lube, which is actually pretty nice lube. It's not terrible. Uh, let's see. You get two uh, ultralight barrel backs. I'm not sure what the sizes are. I don't see sizes. Oh, there it is. 684. And this one doesn't have anything on it, so I'm assuming it's like 689. So that's pretty, that's pretty nice. That they include two barrel bags for the outrageous price that you're paying for this gun. They should definitely include two barrel bags, I think. I'm not sure that this barrel screwed together correctly. I don't know why I think. I think it's the O-ring. O-ring might be oversized on the, the barrel. Uh, and then you get your new Die M2 marker. Auto pack of threaded, of course. Uh, you got your, their cool little, like, uh, weird cam lover clamping feed neck, which is, like, honestly, it's it's probably one of the better feed necks that I've used. Uh, your tool is bolted out the back. It does come with the Billy Wing Ironman bolt, this time in blue instead of in red. That's kind of cool. Uh, you get a really nice, like, magnetic return trigger. It's actually a really crisp trigger. I really like that. Bringing back the, uh, this, this like plasticky molded rubber foregrip it's actually it's really comfortable uh and then of course you have your led screen finally Let's see if it loads up there it goes not sure if, yeah it just kind of says die m2 it's got a game timer your battery what game uh what fire mode you're in how many shots are on the gun uh whether it's capped or uncapped and your balls per second so yeah, definitely, oh, it says bye-bye when you shut it off. Definitely a cool-looking gun, completely spool valve, really nice. Uh, do not use CO2 with it, obviously. <coughs> uh, let's see, I know on the back there's some cool things. It's a rechargeable battery, the fuse bolt system, which means I'm pretty sure that was all one piece. Like, a lot of times when you take bolts out of die guns, they, like, they come in pieces. So, that's, you know, that's kind of nice that it's all, like, used together kind of thing uh and like retail price you're looking at like 1400 bucks so i mean if you're a huge die fan i would definitely say pick up the die m2 
uh, especially if you you know you like their guns uh you, you know you you've wanted them to have an oled board for the longest time and now they finally have one i would definitely pick one up uh, i'm not sure about like how safe this screen would be because like if you're running you get shot right there it's gonna splinter up and probably hit you in the fingers and it'll suck but you know just don't get shot there that's you know that's how die does it so just don't get shot and everything will be fine uh yeah i got i gotta say for the the price point that they're putting on it for you know you do get a lot of cool stuff in the package but for a multi-tool two barrel backs uh fancy o-ring thing and an oled board uh, like to me to me it's not worth it but again if you're a huge die fan i would i would definitely say pick one up if you're if you're long time shooting die like i know dewey is super excited about this gun just because he he loves all of his die guns he loves all of his guns separately like he doesn't have a red-headed stepchild gun yet that, I, that i'm aware of but yeah thank you guys very much for watching this is the unboxing of the die m2 sorry if it was a little lackluster on excitement part uh i am extremely tired from being up for the last 24 hours again uh note to self stop filming videos when you've been up for 24 hours but yeah that is the new die m2 13 95 1400 bucks uh it is available at warp sports of course that's where we are there's a sign right there that says warp sports so uh if you want to come pick one up stop in the store it is here or give them a call and order one of your very own color this is the dark shadow edition or whatever <laughs> pretty sure it's dark shadow but yeah uh so yeah make sure you give warp sports a call uh if you're in the area go ahead and stop in and take a look at it we're not gonna let you shoot it because then it becomes a used gun so it's gonna go right there up on the wall and uh yeah, thank you guys again very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.